Good evening and welcome to Robert J. Herr Miller Gymnasium on the campus of Ottawa Glendorf High School where tonight WSN begins its coverage of Western Buckeye League action. The Wapakana Redskins are in town to play in the Ottawa Glendorf Titans. My name is Mark Scheiss. My pleasure to do play by play. Alongside your color commentary, Mr. Dar Nevergal. Dar, Western Buckeye League opener tonight. Oh yeah, it certainly is and what a game it should be. You know, you can see Ottawa Glendorf 2-0 coming into this game. You see Wapakoneta 1-2. But you never know what's going to happen in this gym when you know put these two teams up against each other. Wapakoneta, you said they are one and two. They've been a little bit offensively challenged, but they've been defensively very good. How about keys to the game for the Redskins? Well, for Wapakoneta, they got three basic things they need to do. They need to, first of all, withstand that OG early punch. And that means if you can get through the first 10 or 12 minutes of this game, get into halftime, yeah, you can stay with them. The other thing, too, is you know you got to turn around and limit the points in the paint. And that's not an easy task when you're looking at a 6'6 guy in Colin White and a 6'7 in Theo Mag out there. And the last thing is you got to finish around the rim. You can't leave points off the board. you got to put them in. So you got to finish when you get a chance. Titans are 2-0. A couple of easy wins over Bluffton and Van Buren. How about keys to the game for OG? Well, OG is the same MO we've heard over and over again. You know, number, three, number one, dictate the tempo. Number two, attack the boards. And number three, disrupt Wapak's rhythm. And they do it every time to every team they play. And that's what makes OG such a tough team. They come out attacking you right off the bat. You gotta be prepared to play. If you wanna win a championship in the Western Buckeye League, you gotta show up and play on nine weekends. This is the first of them. We've got the starting laps from tip off coming up right after this. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to Robert J. Miller Gymnasium, commonly known as the Supreme Court here at Ottawa Glendorf High School, where tonight we have the Wapakana Redskins in town, and they are playing the Ottawa Glendorf Titans. Tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Ultimate Outdoor, the Ohio distributor of the Structure Pergola X. Ultimate Outdoor, a division of Alts, seamless spouting. Mark Shine and Darn Nevergal here at the Supreme Court this evening. So, good look at the Lady Titan cheerleaders. Wapakoneta comes in at one and two this evening. They uh, have wins over a win over Bowling Green, sandwiched around losses to Jefferson and to Allen East. They average 37 points a game and they give up 41.3. Got our Glendorf Titans. They are two and zero, oh, and as we said in our pregame, 63. 33 win over Bluffton, 71-40 win over Van Buren. They average 67 points per game. They give up just 36 and a half. JV game this evening was won by Ottawa Glendor, 64-36, close early, and then the Titans got after him. Our officials this evening, Ryan Damon will be one of our three officials, Denny Morris and Bryce Bailey. Our three-man officiating crew this evening. And we appreciate their work as always. Starting lineups coming out onto the floor right now. Put our starting lineups on the screen here for you. Wapakoneta, they will go with Zach Niekamp, a six-foot junior, averaging eight a game. Nate Metzger is a six-one junior, averaging two points and almost three assists and four rebounds. Jackson Corner is their leading scorer. He's a 6'5 senior, 14.7 and six rebounds a game. Cash Shadle, 6'1 junior, 7.3 points per game. And number 30 is Deacon Redderer, a 6'7 senior, averaging just under two points a game. For Ottawa Glandorf, they will go with Grant Schrader, 6'1 junior, averaging two points a game. Theo Mag wears number 11. 6'7", senior, 19 points, nine rebounds, and three blocks per game for Theo. 21 is Hunter Stecksholdy, 6'2", senior, at six points a game. 22 is Colin White, 6'6", junior, 19 points a game. How about these stats, Dar? 19 points a game, four and a half rebounds, five assists, and three steals a game. I'll tell you. That's pretty good through two games. Yeah, I'd, I'd take that any day. And the final starter is number 24, Caden Erford. He is a 6'4", junior. Averaging 10 a game, and he leads Ottawa Glendorf with four made three-point field goals in their opening two contests. I'll tell you what, Mark, though, with this Ottawa Glendorf team, you can't key on Colin White, which a lot of you know, teams want to because you've got Theo Mag out there at 6'7", averaging 19 points a game. And, you know, they flip-flop in the first two games is who the high scorer was in that game. But then you've got Caden Erford out there who fires up three-pointers, you know, averages about four three-pointers a game. and 
Yeah, so really, you know, the big thing with this Ottawa Glamour team is you just got to control them early because if they put the pressure on you and get off to a fast start, you're in deep trouble. We'll give our Stolly Hustle Award winner at the end of this particular game, and Theo Mag won it a week ago in their game against Bluffton as here's the opening scramble for a loose ball. It's going to be a held ball, and possession arrow will now favor the Titans. And that means Colin White will be the inbounder, and he will be looking for Hunter Steckschulte. Yeah, Colin White, just a, only a junior, just a smooth player all the way around. I mean, you know, like you said, he's got outstanding stats so far this season, just a great player last season as well for this team Here's as May a sophomore. Working inside, little left-handed jump hook, battle for his own rebound. It doesn't get it. Instead, it's secured by Zach Niekamp. 30 seconds in, we have no score. Redderer with the basketball. He is at 6 7. Hands off to Metzger. And they will be looking for 14. Jackson Quarter. This is Redderer again. Pressured out front. Finally gives it up to Cash Shadel. And Walpock has thrown up 49 threes so far this season already. In fact, they've actually you know, made 15 of those. They've shot pretty well from the three point line. And Titans out challenging that right now. Here's a trap. Here's Quarter headed inside, gets cut off. That's a Titan trapping defense. They're just hustle all over the court. Lengthy possession now approaching a minute. Kind of playing into what the Redskins would like to do this evening. Again, a team that averages 37 points a game but gives up 41 in their opening three contests. Quarter with the basketball. Penetrates into the lane. Pulls back out. This is Shadle with it. Hey, you see the Redskins want to get it on the inside. There's just no place to put it on the inside. Trey Elkert in his third year with the Wapakoneta Redskins. Tyson McLaughlin in year number 14 at Ottawa Glendorf. Here's Redderer working down inside against Mag. And Mag contests the shot and rebounds. Bounce pass inside, that's a turnover. Each team's turned it over once here in the early going. And this lengthy, you know, half-court offense for Wapakoneta is a plus for them if they can keep it up. Problem this is you usually make mistakes there. As, as we talked about, three ball in the corner. Zach Niekamp has three of those on the season now, and his team takes an early lead. This is White trying to work inside. There's a three ball to the corner by Erford, and the rebound comes into the hands of Zach Niekamp. Pushes it inside, got nowhere to go, and that will be a turnover. Mag leads the break. Bounce pass, and finishing inside. Hunter Stecksholdy has the first Titans points. Here comes their press. And that's one thing Otto Gunnar is good at. They are good at finishing on those fast breaks. And that will be a turnover as they could not inbound the ball in the five seconds allotted. Third turnover early on for Wapkineta. Comes number 32, Dave Westrick into the game. 6'6", junior, averaging a point and a half. And the inbounder will be Hunter Stecksholde. Looking, finally has to lob away out front to White. Three-pointer of Colin White, bounces around, nope. Westrick had his hands on the ball, scramble for it. That will be a held ball that will favor Wapakura Redskins. Second sub in the game for OG will be Levi Underbrink. He's a 6'1 junior wearing number 12. He averages four and a half a game. Man press this time as opposed to the 2-2-1 a moment ago. Nick Metzger trying to walk it up. Now they get into that trap. And tipped out of bounds. Who hit it? Yep, I thought so. White bounced it off of Quarter's hands. And that's that deadly press that the OG is well known for. And they do that every year on everybody. And they really just, and that was one of the keys we had was disrupt Wapak's rhythm. And that's one of the ways to do it is with this press. And the inbounds and then look for a way to trap out of it. Eventually got the ball knocked out of bounds in their favor. Here's White. 
on the baseline from 17 feet. Pull up jumper. Nope. Good rebound inside, however. That will go to Redder. Here comes quarter. Yeah, low scoring first quarter. Yeah, halfway into this, just 3 2. Part of that is this half court offense that Walcott's consent to run. Zach Niekamp. Redskins coming off a WBL football championship this year, another playoff run. And that ball stolen by Mag, and Mag is headed down the court behind the back, and it's going to be tipped out of bounds by Quarterer. And we'll stay with OG. Here comes number 10 in the game, Caleb Moyler, who was a quarterback on that football team this year. And also in is 23, Ryan Sadler, 6'4", Jr. As I said, Mark, this is a good, you know, this this half court, you know, hanging around the ball that Wapakina is doing is a good, you know, strategy. And, you know, keep the ball out of a lot of kind of hands. The problem is you usually end up making some kind of mistake, which they just did. Just white for three, bounces around. Nope, rebound, knee camp. Here's quarter. Now, part of that is the fact that you can't get the ball inside against OG very effectively, but. You know, the other part is just keep the ball out of OG's hands. Here's Moyer trying to get inside. Nope, this will be a three by Niekamp, and he drains it. Zach Niekamp, a pair of threes, gives him six points. And Zach came in two for 17, just 12% from three-point range. Spin dribble, look inside, nice pass, ends up in Westrick's hands, and he finishes inside, does Dave. 2-2-1 press. And Boyer in the middle of catches it. And they got playing. trapped up in a bad spot. And Coach Elker says timeout. Our timeout also. It's 6-4 early on. Redskins, you're watching high school basketball on WSN. Wapakarena takes our first Metzger Financial Services timeout of the game. Trying to avoid a turnover. They lead 6-4. Here's a pass inside, kick out. This will be Moyer for three from the corner. That one does not go, and the rebound to Hunter Stecksholder. Here comes OG. Erford. White pulls his way inside with the left hand, and then the follow-up basket, Colin White. He is so strong underneath, boy. He just takes it right to the basket and then gets his own rebound back. Quarter, cross court pass. That's Shadle, and then back out to knee camp, and they reset. Tied at six. And we played six minutes. Warrior. All the officials wearing Ottawa Glendorf Titan gear thought he traveled. Said the ball gets hit out of okay. bounds. You heard of the collective over here. <laughs> yes. But one thing about this press and this this trappy defense that Ottawa Glendale has, you find out real quick how how physically shaped you are in because you know by the get to the fourth quarter you're just probably worn out just trying to get the ball up the court. Inbound goes to Metzger. Nate masked up with Erford. Switch out front, Metzger picks it up, looking for somebody, and finally, gets it over to Niekamp. Zach tries to go baseline, powers up oh. inside. Nice move. Zach Niekamp with eight in the opening quarter, and he averages eight on the season. All eight points go the way of Zach Metzger. His team leads by two. Here's Mag inside, goes baseline, and will kick it out to Erford. Erford from 17, rolls around the rim, rebound Moyer. Under a minute to go, opening quarter. Walpock holding their own on the boards right now. Got unofficially five rebounds to just two for Otto. Quarter, up and under move, but won't finish, and the rebound comes to Hunter Stecksholde. Titans in a hurry. Stecksholde for three. That one he rings up. Stecksholde for three. There's 
Beck Shorty now has three of those on the season. He has five in this game to put his team up one. See if the Redskins choose to play last shot again, a quarter against this pressure. Here's Metzger goes baseline, missed it, but the rebound on the backside will go to Ryan Sadler. A three at the buzzer, comes up short at the end of one. Wapak 10 out of Ruglandorf 9. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN. Our instant replays tonight are brought to you by Cook and Son Plumbing and Heating, specializing in old time service since 1978. Visit us on Facebook or call 419-738-8956. Wapak well, Canetta with a one-point lead. Dart, do you have some stat numbers interest you over there? Well, a couple of them. You look at uh, Wapak Canetta, they're two for, uh, for three from three-point range, so that's keeping them in this game. The other thing, too, is they've got five rebounds, just three for Otto Glandorf, so they're doing a nice job on the boards as well. You know, the five turnovers, but they've settled that down. They haven't turned the ball over for a little while so far. You know, the other interesting thing is you look at these, you know, you know Hunter Stexel, he's got five points. Caden, uh, or uh, Dave Westrick has two points. But, you know, they've pretty much held Colin White and Theo Mag in check so far. They really haven't been able to get on the board. Titans ball to start quarter number two. Here's White. Number three has entered the basketball game. That is... Grant Schrader, who was a starter, and then came back in at the quarter break. Here's White trying to spin inside, turn around jumper, and the rebound comes down to Deacon Redderer. And that's a big thing for Walpock right now. There's, you know, not given second opportunities for Oliver Glendor. Quarter heads to the rim, and that will be our first foul of the basketball game. Time foul, number 22, White. First that will go to Colin White. There's the foul right there that you can see on our Insta replay tonight, brought to you by Cook and Son Plumbing and Heating. Jackson Quarter, who shoots 73% from the free throw line, missed that one. He'll get a second opportunity. And missed that one as well. Mag rebound. So far, Jackson Quarter has been shut out in this game. Pass inside, tipped out by Erford to the corner. Here's White going to pull the trigger from three. And the rebound comes to Porter. Colin White off a bit here in the opening moments of this game. And like I said, Wap can have hold him to just one shot, not give him a second opportunity. Pass inside, Redder is going to work against Mag. Just one on one down there. Spin move, and Mag blocks his shot. He averages three blocks a game and brings it up himself. Mag, the length of the floor, and kick out. Theo Mag working inside. It goes up with the right hand. Erford rebounds on the backside. Schrader. Stecksholdy spins in the lane. Mag rebounds and Theo Mag's in the books. Yeah, they needed that one from Theo Mag. to get in real aggressive underneath the boards, get those second opportunity shots like he just got. Shadow gets the ball after the trap to his teammate Metzger, and he's trying to find somebody to throw it to, and timeout. Let's see what the call is. Is it a five count? I guess it was a five second count. I thought he was looking at Coach Elkert like perhaps he'd called a timeout. Instead, it was a five count in the trap. Turnover number six for uh, the Redskins. And we are 10 minutes into this one. Our stack shoulder will hand off out front to Levi Unterbrink. Here's Mag inside. Now he's pressured and finally finds a teammate. Stack shoulder spins into the lane and he will be fouled. That will go to, let me make sure we got the right number. We do, goes on number three, Zach Niekamp. That's the first Wapakoneta foul. First. And to the free throw line Steck will go Hunter Steck Schulte, who has not shot a free throw yet this year. He gets a pair here. That's point number six for him. 
The two teams have combined for three, made three-point field goals, and Dale's Concrete is sponsoring our three-point field goals this evening. And the clock has jumped down to just a minute left. I don't think that's a oh, it's a pretty no. fast quarter, but that's yeah, a really fast quarter. So we're going to yeah, they set it back to 551. Let's get everybody back on the free throw line and shoot number two. Yeah, don't blink. <laughs> We've had some scoreboard issues tonight on their brand new video board. And been working on that since before the JV game. As Tex Shorty makes the second one, he has seven points in the game. His team is lead is up to three. That's their largest of the game. Tex Shorty. Steal. Underbrick got the steal. And inside, powering up was Grant Schrader, and he will draw a foul. Say, so Tex Shorty just coming in, averaging six points a game already. He has seven. Metzger picked up that foul. This is what you kind of talked about, isn't it? They just come at you and come at you and come at you, and then before long, behind the eight ball. Schrader has not shot a free throw yet this year until he makes that one. That's his first point and his first made free throw of the year. Well, they just wear you down. That's all there is to it. They just, you know, that trapping press, that, you know, they throw on you, they hustle all on defense all, the, all, all over the place. Makes the second as well. OG is always a good free throw shooting team. They're shooting 71% in this season through the first couple of games. It's Cash Shadel. And it's the Metzger there to get across the quarter. And he's going to back it out and reset against Mag. The quarter's got a tough assignment there with Mag on him, you know, to try to get some offense. And so far, the Mag has been able to hold him down. That's still working against Levi Unterbrink. Hey, you just had no place to go. That cut. Nope. <laughs> finally found Ryan Sadler, but not until another five second count had occurred. So we think uh, Adara, the, the, you know, the pressure defense and the steals in full court, but they've been laying it down the half court as well. Yeah, they just, you know, and that's a defense, a, you know, constant movement by uh, the Titans. They just, you know, they're all over the place. Colin White's going to move to the point guard position for this possession. Back, spins in the lane, and goes up, and missed the shot. Rebound, Zach Niekamp. We played three minutes here in the quarter. Redskins haven't scored. Quarter bobbled it, and gets into the lane, kick out. Cashado for three, and rebound White on the backside. Titans pushing it. White turnaround jumper from 14, a little bit short. Rebound Metzger. Yeah, he's struggling right now. Here's Niekamp. White with just two points, averaging 19 points a game. Bounce pass inside Sadler, he missed. And the rebound to Mag, pushing it to Erford. I think Theo Mag wanted to shoot that three, don't yeah, you? Yeah, he did. He really looked he at did. it for a long time, didn't he? He thought, oh, come oh, on. Come on, yeah. Five point lead for his team. White working to get a screen from Erford. He goes to the lane and will travel. Only the second miscue for uh, Otto Glendorf here in this first half. We're going to get a timeout with 3.54 to go in the second. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. Wapak Canetta takes their second timeout. Our timeout is are sponsored by Metzger Financial Services. Helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. They did so with 3.54 to go here in the quarter. Redskins have gone four minutes plus and have not scored in quarter number two. Quarter. And finally gets it across midcourt. But nowhere to pass it once he gets there. And quarter will reset. He's being hounded by Grant Schrader. There's Sadler's played a lot of minutes so far tonight.
Pawpaw just needs a basket desperately right now. They need to get a little bit of momentum back again. Trying to get inside is, is uh, Knee Camp. Here's quarter for three. Bounces around. Rebound, Westrick. Here's Mag in transition and finishes. Good pass from White. The Mag has four all in this quarter. Seven point margin now for the Ottawa Glendale Titans. Walpock needs to put two points down or a three real quick here. Colin White perhaps not shooting as well as he typically does, but that was a really nice assist pass to his teammate Mag in transition. Well, Colin White had 10 assists coming into this yeah. game. So. so they're opening two games. Has Shade looking for somebody to throw it to. Pass inside. Moyer finishes on a good pass. Well, Moyer's Moyer's scores. Yeah. Schrader got caught behind the backboard, was able to find Underbrink. Ag inside. Physical defense from Sadler. Underbrink into the lane. A little scoop shot misses. Rebound. Corner. Jackson averages six boards a game. That's 10 rebounds now for Wapakoneta. Knee camp. Porter. There's Moyer in the corner. Sadler and Mag inside. Good defense by Theo Mag. Just walled up. He's going to force a turnover. It's so tough when you turn around and oh. get those long arms right in front of you. It's an over and back call, but uh, you take the ball out of bounds at the closest point to where the ball was touched by the offending teams. It's going to be all the way down here on the baseline where Caden Erford will inbound to basketball. Erford for three. Got it. He is the leading three-point field goal shooter for Ottawa Glendorf. Our three-point field goal center sponsored by Dale's Concrete. It's Erford's first basket of the night. Shadel looking for somebody. And Moyer will get it across midcourt. He's trapped. And what do we got? Held ball, and the arrow favors the Redskins. With 62 seconds to go in our opening half. You know, one of the things I like about OG, all the defense they play, they've committed just one foul. Yep. And, and Wapak has been defending very well in the half court as well. They have just two fouls, two very well-coached teams. Yeah, very fundamental well-coached. Hey, Metzger looking for somebody to get throw it to. Five counts on, gets his head and shoulders passed, and that pass is oh. stolen by Mag. Trump grabbed it out of the air. Stecksholdy goes to the rim and scores. Boy, he's having a first half. Hunter Stecksholdy has nine. He averages six on the season. That lead is now double digits at 10. Wapak desperately needs a basket. Get this under double figures before the halftime break, and it's hit out of bounds on the scramble. I think Westrick's the one who knocked it out of bounds with 19.4 remaining. Our three-point field goal slider sponsored by Dale's Concrete and Decorative Stamping and Lipstick for all your commercial and residential concrete needs. We've had four of them in the opening half, two by each team. That's the other thing about this OG team is they're so deep. They just bring in anybody, you know, they keep fresh legs out there all the time and stuff. And you never know who's going to step up and get your points. Tonight it's Hunter Stecksholdy with nine already here in the first half. Stolen. Here's Erford in transition to the rim and finishes and draws one. Caden Erford with a steal and a finish. The foul will go to Jackson Quarter. Jackson's first. Erford, who had a three-point field goal a minute ago, has a chance to get an and one. Two for two at the foul line so far. 
And does so, six for him all in this quarter as the lead grows to 13. OG five for five so far at the foul line. There's Cash Shadle trying to get something off before the break. Moyer from a deep three, hits the rim and doesn't go. Titans with a big second quarter and they will take a 13 point lead to the halftime break. You're watching high school basketball, WOSN. We're back at the Supreme Court. Tonight's three point sponsor is Dale's Concrete. Call Dale's Concrete at decorative stamping and lipstick for all your commercial and residential concrete needs. Thanks to a 16 to two second quarter, OG with a 13 point lead is led to quarter number three. Darn never go. You got any stat numbers to jump off the page at you? Well, total field goals for Wapkina, just five for 15. That's 33 percent. They have 10 rebounds, so they have they've done a decent job on rebounding the ball, but they've got nine turnovers in that first half. And you flip over to OG, they've got nine for 26 from the field, 35 percent, five for five at the line, eight rebounds, and just two turnovers. So the big thing for Wapkina is got to hang on to the ball. Zach Niekamp had eight points in the opening quarter. Hunter Steckschulte has nine to lead Ottawa Glandorf. And they had the basketball first. Colin White from 14. Points number three and four for him this evening. And you knew you couldn't keep Colin White yeah. down for very long. Pass inside and finishing at the rim will be Deacon Redderer, his first basket of this evening. Tech Schulte, Mag. Mag thinking about that. Yeah, they're again. laying way off him and daring him to shoot it. And this is Grant Schrader coming off the screen. Now Colin White. And there's Mag down where he is more effective. And powers up inside, blocked by Redder, gets it back. Good job, Theo Mag, to stay after it. Points five and six for him tonight. Jackson quarter right here. Jackson goes inside, and has to back up from Mag. Jackson quarter is the leading scorer coming into the night for the Redskins. Has not been able to put anything on the board. And then we're going to get a foul that will go against Colin White. Been a pretty much foul free game, but Colin has two personal fouls this evening. The only two fouls assessed to two out of Glandorf tonight. You know, Jackson quarter just hasn't had too many opportunities to shoot the ball. And at the foul line, he's 0 for 2. You know, where he normally hits 72% of his shots. And most of the time, it's been this man right here, Colin White, discouraging those shot opportunities. Now he's mag switches to him. There's a trap. And stepped over the back uh, back to court line and had an over back call. 6'7", six, 6'6", six, six, trapping you. That's a difficult thing to do. Uh, yeah, and they're long arms, 6'6", six, six yes. and 6'7", six, too. That's <laughs> turnover number 10 now for Wapkinetta. 15-point lead, Titans. White from 17. Mags hoops in and grabs that rebound oh, and finishes nice inside. Back-to-back -back offensive rebound baskets. Theo Mag, that ball's tipped. But Cash Shadle came up with it. And now Nate Metzger against the trap. Corner trying to get across midcourt and does. That three ball will go. For Zach Niekamp, he's got three of those this evening and 11 points. Dale's concrete three-point field goal. Here's Mag again and goes up and scores again. Six consecutive points gives him 10 on the evening. The first Titan to be in double figures tonight. He's looking a lot more relaxed there underneath the basket. The first half, he's kind of, you know, a lot of pressure on him to you know, try to get inside, but he looks like he's being able to move, move her a little bit better right Here's now. Here's Shadow for three. Erford rebounds. White will jump hook in the lane, gets his own rebound, and muscles up and scores. Offensive rebounds powering the Titans right now. You talked in your pregame about finishing around the rim, and they are certainly doing that. Yeah, they're getting those second opportunities they really didn't get in the first quarter. That basket's Deacon Redderer's second basket of this quarter. He's got four now in the game. Good pass from a teammate. The big thing is, is Wapkina just not blocking out very well. 
You know, Mag, spin move, gets shot, gets blocked out of bounds by Deacon Retterer. Substitutes back in the game, guys who have played before. I think Brad Mag's in for the first time, however. He wears a number 10 for Ottawa Glandor. Brad's a 6'2 senior, averaging two and a half points a game. Levi Underbrink just triggered the ball, and he's checked in a moment ago, too. That's going to be a foul that will go against the quarter. That it is. Jackson has two fouls. Under break to inbound again. Bounce pass to Mag. White and quarter matched up. White from 17, short. And on the attempted save was Brad Mag, but he couldn't quite find a teammate with it, and it'll be Redskins ball. But as I said, Mark, you know, White's not having a very uh, good effective game as he usually has, but on this Ottawa Glendor team, you're going to have somebody else that's going to step up. In this case here in the second half so far has been Theo Mag. One thing he has really done is at the defensive end where he has had Jackson Quarter most of the night and is pitching a shutout. Ball's loose on the floor. Good play that time by Levi Underbrink. Here's Mag, picks it up. Theo Mag, here's Underbrink. Spin move, oh. White. Mag rebounds that one, and Theo powers up. Let's see the foul will be. Theo Mag is having a huge quarter on the glass. And a lot of offensive rebounds, which they really needed. Cash Shadle. As his first foul. Theo Mag shoots 57% from the free throw line this year. Just banked one in for his 11th point. That's the Metzger enters. Hunter Steckschulde enters. Kate Nerfer's at the scorer's table. Mag makes this, he'll check in. And does. Eight-point quarter, Theo Mag in a little over four minutes. He's going to get a break. He has really worked hard on the glass this quarter. Yeah, he's really picked up his game a lot. And like I said, most of it on the offensive side of the ball. Averaging 19 a game. He's got 12 halfway through quarter number three. That's a <laughs> nice steal that time by Steckschulde. Here's a three by Erford. Underbrink rebounds. White for three. Kill him on the offensive glass until Quarter is able to secure that one. Here comes Kneecamp. That's a pretty good example. White had Quarter. He got away from him, and two guys helped him out. And yeah, Walpox only had 20 shots from the field so far in this game. Sadler looking for somebody, and the ball's going to head into the backcourt, and it will be over and back. Another turnover for the Red Shirts. Number 13. That's the thing, you've you know, got 20 shots and only 12 of them inside the paint. So, you know, you're not going to win a lot of games if you can't get the ball down there. Well, the other part of that is they have shot and made a lot of three-point field goals on the season, and Titans just keep running them off the line. And they have three tonight, and that's it. Here's on break. Erford. And that's <laughs> into the band. Herford upset with himself. He had a teammate on the far side. He missed him, and he was upset with himself. However, that kid in the band was wide open. Yes, he was. He even moved his instrument yeah. out there. You know. This is a very difficult place to inbound the basketball at, too. Right in that corner right there. A lot of, a lot of talking in your ear. And he does get it inbounds, does Zach Niekamp to quarter. Jackson looking for somebody to pass it to. Finally finds Metzger. And Redskins set it up. Parkinetta had 10 in the opening quarter. They've had nine since then. Here's a three. Westrick rebounds. Nice strong rebound there by Westrick. Very strong rebound. Westrick has a basket, but he's really helped out defensively and on the glass. Here's a three. Quarter rebounds. 
Jackson trying to go in transition. Too many with guys with white shirts on get back, however, and Trey Elkert will take a Metzger Financial Services timeout with 2.04 to go in a quarter. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. Back at the Supreme Court, where tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Ultimate Outdoor, the Ohio distributor of the Structure Paroga X. Ultimate Outdoor, a division of Alts, seamless spouting. Timeout taken. It's been a, a seven point quarter for the Wapakoneta Redskins, and 12 of them on the board for the Titans, Star. Yeah, they, you know, the Redskins just were really, uh, you, like I said, you get into the second half after all the pressure that you got to play against all night long with Ottawa Glendorf, you know. That's when you find out uh, it, how much shape you really are in because, you know, that's constantly all night on against these guys, Either not just on the full court press that they put on, but the half court defense as well. So, you know, and your leading scorers like Jackson Coulter and stuff, he's been just shut down all night long by this OG defense. Primarily Colin White with a lot of help from his teammates. Inbounds pass. It's going to go awry, but it's picked up by Sadler, and then he has to just pitch it inbounds. Here comes White. Hands off to Mag, and Mag oh. tried to dunk it, and too much pressure, couldn't get it down. He camp finds Metzger. It was Cash Shadel for three that got blocked. And Hunter Steckshoulder working. There's White in the low post. And he gets it back. Here's a three. And Mag tipped it out of bounds to Theo. Big day tomorrow for the Ottawa Glendale Titans. They're going to go across state. To Akron St. Vincent St. Mary's having a big shootout tomorrow. They get to play Lutheran East at 4 o'clock tomorrow. Big game for them. Wapakoneta goes to Minster tomorrow night. OG just uh, 2 for 11 so far on three point shots. Here's a steal by Steckscholdy. And Hunter gets a shot blocked, however, by Metzger and gets it back. Bag. Spins to his right hand shoulder, bounce pass inside, and Westry gets it blocked, but is fouled. Foul will go to Nate Metzger. Nate has two fouls. And to the free throw line will go Dave Westrick. 75% free throw shooter this year. 6'6 six, six Westrick. Pretty good when you can take out Colin White, bring a 6'6 six, six guy in. Yep. Just a junior, this day. Comes, uh, let's see. Number 14. Brian Ross. Brian Ross. Okay, thank you. For Number 14 checks in. That is Ross. Westrick knocks down the second one. Glad you caught that. I had Ryan Ross's number 20 on my roster. Thank you. Westrick did make the second one. That's his third point. And then tried to get that ball before it got out of bounds. Like I say, Mark, OG just two for 11 from three point range. They've not been real effective this season so far from three points. They're only nine for 34 coming into this game in their first uh, two games. And, you know, that's just 26.5%. So. Uh, I have seen a lot of Titan basketball games, and I'm going to bet that that number goes up significantly by the time we get into January, February, and March. There's Moyer looking for a teammate to pass it to. Also in the game is Ty Buckland for OG. He wears number one. Here's Quarter working in the lane. And now Sadler. Quarter working against Erford, and Erford just walls up. Here's Moyer, tried to bounce it through the lane, gets it to Sadler. Here's Quarter for three. Good rebound, Buckland, that really good position. Quarter about to come to an end. Let's see what Buckland does with it. Erford, spin the move, goes off glass and draws contact. 
Let's see if it, it is. I think he's going to get the shot off before the buzzer came. He's got those two free throws. So, Kate Nerfer will go to the free throw line for a pair. Jackson Quarter picked up his third foul, and Nerford sticks in the first free throw. That's seven points for him in the game, looking at eight. His first point in the second half. And nails that one as well. OG will take a 40 to 19 lead to the fourth. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. Yeah. Tonight's three point sponsor is Dale's Concrete. I'm sorry, tonight's instant replay sponsor is brought to you by Cook and Son Plumbing and Heating, specializing in old time service since 1978. Visit us on Facebook or call 419 738 8956. 15 point quarter for the Titans makes it a 40 point game for them. They have made 10 out of 11 free throws. What other stat numbers do you have, Dar? Well, mostly you're looking at the big second half so far here for Theo Mag. He's got eight points coming into this half. He's got, you know, 12 all together. You know, the shooting on three point range has really hurt both teams. You know, you know, Wapkin had just three for 11, and uh, Otto Glendorf two for 11. But, uh, you know, Otto Glendorf's getting the baskets underneath the boards, and that's the big thing. They've taken over in the rebounding. You know, 17 to 12. Theo Mag with 12 in the game, 11 for Zach Niekamp. Letterer finally finds Moyer. They're going to run a little flex action. Here comes Quarter off the screen. Works inside this quarter. A little shot over Colin White. He finally gets free for his first basket of the game. Make a tough shot and did. Yes, he did. Schrader looking for somebody. Here's Colin White. Now Hunter Steckscholdy to Mag inside. Kick out Steckscholdy again. Starting lineup in for the Titans. Schrader, White, Steckscholdy, Schrader. There's Mag and Erford. Good rebound inside. Caden Erford. Good rebound, Theo Mag. And they just keep battling the boards. 14 for Mag, 10 in the second half. Got him doubled up at 42-21. So foul as Zach Niekamp was trying to work his way to the goal. That will be Theo Mag's first foul of the game. I've got, I've got just three team fouls for the game for OG. Unbelievable, wouldn't it? It is. How well they defend, and yet they don't foul. They trap, put that trap on you, and yet they don't reach in and get the fouls. Very well coached group of young men. And we're going to get a foul right there. <laughs> now they get back-to-back -back fouls without time running off the clock. That will go to Hunter Steckshoulder. Hunter's first. It's a third of the half. Jackson Colder took a seat on the bench. You could tell he's a tired young man. Steckshoulder ends up with a steal on the inbounds pass. It's five on four. White passes inside, and Erford finishes. Okay, Nerford becomes a double-figure scorer with 10. He's averaging 10 and a half points a game. What a good pass that time from Colin White, finding an open man, and right to the goal and scoring back to the side is Nate Metzger. That's his first basket of the night. Here's White in transition, left hand, nope. Rebound to Cachetel. Pace has picked up some. Titans by 21 with six to go. This will be a three by Niekamp. He's hot tonight. He's got 14 now. That's his fourth of those. Three-point field goal sponsored by Dale's Concrete this evening. Here's Mag spin move. And up and under uh, with the left hand and finishes. That's a really nice move. That is. You can't defend that. 16 for Theo Mag to lead all scorers tonight. Here's Niekamp again. White rebounds on the backside. Pass to Ed Schrader, and Schrader goes right to the rim and scores. He's got four now, and we're going to get a timeout. Then we'll go to Trey Elkert with 5.20 to go. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN.
Well, Paquette has called a timeout in each quarter tonight. Our timeouts are sponsored by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. The Darb Wapak has been able to score a little bit in this quarter, but when the pace goes OG's way, they can't score enough of them. No, you can't. And you, you just can't keep up with it. this kind of offense that OG runs as well. You know, they're just constant full throttle. They put their foot on the gas and started the game, and they don't let up on it at all. Actually, actually, the quarter's been eight to seven in favor of Ottawa Glendor, but the, just the way they go about doing it, uh, piling up points in a hurry. Here's Niekamp, Metzger. Redderer looking for somebody to pass it to. Probably finds Metzger. Niekamp works the lane, finds Moyer. Solid possession this time from the Redskins. Yeah, they're moving the ball effectively. They just can't get it on the inside where Redrick's Red sitting underneath there. Moyer for three. Rebound Metzger. And his little floater doesn't go. Rebound to Shadle, and that's blocked by Mag. And here's the pass ahead. Steck shoulder for three. Good check out and a good rebound. Flat-footed Nate Metzger. Halfway through, quarter number four. Metzger works inside. White tips the rebound and goes out of bounds. Each of these teams have a Western Buckeye League game next Friday night. I don't know what Glendorf will be at Elida. Walpark Canetta will have St. Mary's at home and big game for the OG. We talked about him going to Akron St. Vincent tomorrow on the 17th. They will be a part of Quincy Simpson's two day extravaganda and they will play Princeton at Lima Cedar. That will be the 730 game on Saturday and WSM will be there to cover that game. Jackson Coulter back in there again. He is. Here's Niekamp. Hounded by Steck Schulte now. Also in the game is Jordan Snyder. He wears number one for the Redskins. Quarter shots missed that time under pressure from White who rebounds. Here's Steck Schulte. Yeah, White was able to get a hand on that. Oh, shot. nice pass. And White goes up and gets fouled. That was a really nice look from Hunter Steck Schulte. See it on the replay here. Cooking sun concrete or plumbing and heating replay. Quarter picks up foul number four and Colin White with six points will head to the free throw line. 80% free throw shooter. Back to the rims that one. And we talked about it. Colin White's had a tough night tonight as far as offense goes, but he's done everything else. That's I mean, correct. Defense, assists, you know, rebounding. White's second opportunity as Dave Westrick entered the game, and he rolls that one in. That's point seven, and looks like uh, Colin White's evening is done as he is replaced by Ty Buckland. So he'll finish with seven points this evening. Comes quarter. This time he's matched up with Steck Schulte. Working inside. Steck Schulte, turnaround jumper. Got it. That's a nice move. Jackson Quarter has four all this quarter. Both of them have been really tough shots. Saturday, we get to see Reagan Quarter. Her and her Wapakoneta Redskins will be at Marion Local. Telecast that will air on Sunday evening. Scoop shot by Steck Schulte gets his own, goes back up and bounces it in. And Steck Schulte becomes a double figure scorer with 11. Now the big big theme of this second half has been offensive rebounds and Otto Glendorf has been able to pull down a good majority of them. Jackson Corp. Quarter working in the lane again. Trying to get that turnaround jump shot. He just couldn't get it off that time. There's another three. Bounces around. Westrick rebounds. It's 
Sexually. Each team's got subs waiting at the scores table to get in if we get a dead ball. Buckland gives it up. Sexually for three. And the rebound comes to Zach Niekamp. This one comes to an end. We're going to get a foul by Buckland. This game comes to an end. I have an interview with the OG coaches, and we'll also present our Stolly Hustle Award winner to wrap this one up. Here's Ryan Ross back in the game for Steck Schulte. Also in the game is Crew Allen, who wears number four. And we're going to get 24 Ryan Richardson. Ryan is a six foot freshman. The number 11 enters. That's Logan Healy. He's a 5'11 junior. And number two is Logan Crow, a 6'2 senior. So each team is gone deep in their bench here with two minutes to go in this one. There's Allen working the lane. Ball's tipped. And that ball goes out of bounds and will be a Titan basketball. That's turnover number 17 for the night for Wapkinetta. Sitting on a 23-point lead. No G unfished I've only got three turnovers tonight. I guess a pretty good defensive basketball team. Number 10 is in the game. That is Bragg Mag. We talked about him a moment ago entering. He just made a nice pass. Here's Ross. And then Buckland. He by Underbrick shot and missed, but the rebound comes to Mag. Brad goes up for three and nails it. His first three-point field goal of the year for Brad Mag, the 6'2 senior. Averaging two and a half points a game coming in, he just got his average. <laughs> yes, he did. This jump shot will go up by Richardson, and that misses. Westrick gets another rebound. He's had a nice game on the glass in the time he has played this evening. Underbrick works the lane, kick out. Westrick inside, works, little jump hook. That's a nice move. Nice. He's got uh, five tonight in the game. You know, he and Mag and, and White all have a little jump hook in the mm -hmm. lane they're really good at. And yeah, they elevate really well to get up over the defense. Snyder with the basketball, just pass inside, and under a lot of pressure, Ryan Richardson lost the ball out of bounds. 26 seconds to go in this one. Yep, they gave it back to the Redskins. Oh, they did. Here comes number 12 into the basketball game. That would be Caden Page. He's a 5'11 freshman. And he will be tasked with taking the ball out of bounds. Ball's tipped by Westrick. Westrick thought he had banged it off of Logan Crow. The official saw it differently, and it'll stay at this end of the floor. Mag knocked that ball out of bounds. Tried to get it inside to Jordan Snyder. It doesn't matter who you put out there for <laughs> Coach McLaughlin's team. I mean, they're all hustling constantly. So move to the goal. Good wall up defense inside by the Titans. It stays with the Redskins, but good job inside defensively. This is the longest 30 some seconds ever. 15.3 to go in this one. Here's Snyder comes off a couple screens, but couldn't get the ball to him because Mag did a good job of defending him. Here's Caden Page looking for a teammate. Finds Allen, ball's tipped into the backcourt. Buckland's head to the rim, and did he get up? He did not get it off before the buzzer. Pretty good effort, just couldn't quite get there in time. The Ottawa Glendorf Titans will go to 3 0 in the season. They will double up Wapakoneta 56 28. Post game show coming up after this. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. We're back at Ottawa Glendorf High School, the Robert J. Hermiller Gymnasium. Ottawa Glendorf with a 58-26 win tonight over the Wapakoneta Redskins. 
Got assistant coach Kevin McLaughlin with us tonight. Coach, a little bit different type of win for your guys tonight. Yeah, it was. It uh, was a tough fought game all night. I mean, Walpuck came to play, and it was a blue-collar type game. They come after us, and they played really hard, and when they play that hard and they're physical, and, uh, you know, you just got to take what you can get when you can get it. Kind of showed right in the beginning of the game, right the first quarter, we had a possession on defense where it was over a minute, and uh, they handled it well, and they, they, they really did a nice job of, of handling the, or taking care of the ball. So, you know, we had to fight for everything we could get. It was 10-9 at the end of the first quarter. You were down a point, but as the game went along, your big guys inside, offensive rebounding, really did a great job. Well, we've got some kids in there that really play hard, and they've got pretty good size. You know, the length kind of uh, shows up in this type of a game. Uh, we knew we had to do a good job on the boards, and we battled very hard. And Walpock did the same. I mean, they really battled and battled all night long, and uh, we didn't get anything easy. <laughs> you, you did not. It's a WBL win, obviously, but tomorrow you're going to get on the bus and take a long trip. Well, what about tomorrow's game with Luther and East? Well, that should be a real tough game. I mean, they're a very talented team. Uh, they're, they're a D2 team that's uh, up in the Cleveland area, and uh, we're going up to St. Vincent and St. Mary's to play them up there, and they're having a, a shootout there with five games tomorrow. And uh, our kids are looking forward to it. It's a good, a good game to go out and kind of measure how you're doing and against a really, really solid competition. It'd be a lot different kind of game than what we saw tonight, but we, we prefer to play that way too. So we'll see what happens. Uh, Coach, I heard Tim Goodwin say after they won a state championship at Marion Local last week, Marion Local football chases excellence. And, and that's what your team does as well, doesn't it? Absolutely. Uh, we're always out there trying to do better. Even when we do well, we know there's a little bit better out there if we can go real hard. And we try to execute things well. And listen, the kids listen. They do what, they, what they're expected to do. And when those things happen and they play that hard, you know, we end up doing, having good results. Coach, you've been around this game a long, long time. What keeps bringing you back to high school basketball? I just really enjoy being around the kids. At some point, you know, I, I think I'd get tired of it. And, you know, I walk in there into the gym every day and I think, oh boy, here we go. I don't have that feeling yet. And uh, I've got good coaches to work with. Of course, my son won and nephews won. And uh, it, it just makes it a lot better for me when I know everyone's a good, good solid person and we help each other. And, uh, you know, there's different things that I do throughout the week to help out in preparation. You know, it just, it's a good thing to do when you're retired. It's a nice gig in the wintertime. It's a whole lot better sitting in a rocking chair watching reruns of Gunsmoke, isn't it? Oh, yeah. James Arness is gone, <laughs> and I'm not ready to do that. All right. Kevin McLaughlin, assistant coach here at Ottawa Glendor. Thanks for coming in with us, Kevin. Thanks, Mark. All right, let's bring Darn Evergall in. Darn, the next thing we have to take care of here is our Stally Hustle winner. Check out highlights of tonight's Stally Hustle Award winner on WSN YouTube page. And tonight we went with Hunter Steckshoulder from Ottawa Glendor. Oh, absolutely. Hunter Steckshoulder, number 21 out there. I think the big thing with Hunter and the reason we went with him was this first half. Nine points in the first half. Kind of set the tone, especially in the second quarter for this Ottawa Glendor team and got him off and running then. He finished with 11, but those nine points were big. They certainly were. Hunter Steckshoulder will be our Sally Hustle Award winner tonight. It's a 58-26 win. The Van Wert team, or the Wapak team will drop to 1-3 and three on the season. They'll be 0 and one in conference play and the uh, Ottawa Glendor Titans they will go to 3 and 0 they also are 1 and 0 this time in conference play. We want to thank the athletic director and that is Tyson McLaughlin, a busy guy wearing two hats in this particular gym. We want to thank our crew. That's Wayne Getz, uh, Derek Henry, Cassidy Driscoll, Seth Hegemeyer, Marshall Jordan tonight bringing this particular game to you. Ottawa Glendor won the JV game. They won the varsity game as well. 58-26. You've been watching high school basketball on WOSN.